about everything. You know, they ask you about your background, you know, what you what you did in the past, if there's any secrets and stuff like that. They ask you about play formations, uh, injuries, you know, just protocol, everything that you can think of. Speaking of injuries, how did your medical checks go? Uh, my medical checks going real well. Uh, I had surgery January 16th. I'm um, recovering a lot faster than they thought. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to coming back around rookie camp. But I mean, uh, there's nothing else I can really say about it as of right now. It's just a day to day thing. What kind of feedback did you get here on your medicals? I really didn't have, when I came here and got the medical and everything going on, they didn't check my leg. Uh, I was told not to let you know anybody pull or tug at my leg just because surgery was recent, six weeks out in a few days. So it was just uh, more so looking at my upper body. Well, like, did you, how did the injury affect you on the field for Ohio State this season? Uh, the injury happened uh, November 26th in the game against uh, Team Up North. So. When that happened, uh, I didn't really notice until after the game. You know, after the game, I couldn't walk really. I was limping. Uh, practice that week, I was uh, not able to run as well. And uh, you know, I just kept playing through it. I played the uh, Clemson game with the injury as well. Did you consider not playing? No, it was never. That was never a thought. You know, Why? just because you know I put too much work in with those guys, and it would be like I was letting them down. You know, uh, we went through the off season, the grind. You know, I feel like everything that I, I worked for in the off season that we worked for as a team. You know, I would have been thrown away if I didn't go out there and compete with those guys. Did it hurt? In the Clemson game? Uh, it did, but I took a lot of ibuprofen. <laughs> it definitely hurt it, but you know I didn't really pay attention. As the game went on, you know, it was something that you know I wasn't paying attention to. I, I was just going out there and trying to compete and get the win for the well, team. In, in the first half of that game, you made one of the best interceptions a lot of people have seen with yeah. how much field you covered. How many ibuprofen pills did it take to make that play? <laughs> about six. Took about six. Uh, I went out there early before the game started, you know, and uh, I had the PT look at it before I went out there and started working out on the field and uh, just got it real loose, tried to get as loose as I can and just, you know, just try to mentally get block that out of my mind. Malik, during the year you said that you were going to come back to Ohio State. Mm -hmm. I think everybody knew that probably wasn't going to happen. <laughs> but um, when you have an injury like that, mm -hmm. um, this year there was a big debate a lot around a lot of players about whether you should play in bowls and stuff if you have an NFL future. Obviously, your situation was different because you were trying to win a national title. Yes, sir. But as you're on the brink of the NFL when you're facing a, an injury like that, how did you not have a thought of, should I be worried about my future before playing in that game? Uh, well, before even looking into my future, you know, there's just so much that you put into a program like that. So for me to just automatically say I'm not playing just, you know, because I'm a, a, a top 10 pick or whatever the scenario may be, you know, I feel like it's not fair to Ohio State and the guys that I worked out with because I was there in the off season working hard with them. Uh, I was there in a the rough part of the program. So I feel like, you know, it was it was what I had to do. You know, I feel like I had I owed that to them guys. And, you know, I definitely don't like, you know, sitting out, especially at a time like that. We're, we're working for a national championship, you know, big game against, you know, one of the top competitive teams in, the, in the, uh, college football. So I feel like it, wasn't, it was a no-brainer that I was playing. Malik, we uh, asked Marshawn Lattimore about having one great year as a starter, same uh -huh. situation for you, and to be in this position. Just uh, what does it say in that one year what you accomplished? It just showed how much I've matured throughout the years uh, being at Ohio State. You know, they do a great job of preparing you for the next level. So I feel like I definitely owe a lot of credit to Ohio State and the coaching staff because without them, you know, I feel like I wouldn't have made a lot of the plays or be half the person that I am today. With all the 